Hello guys, welcome to this video. In this video, I'll be demonstrating how you can use uh, the calculator to find the centroid, centroid of a uh, centroid or point of application of a load from a trapezoidal type of loading. So over here, I'm having a retaining wall, and as you can see, this is a reference book. From here, the loading is in this pattern, and I need to and I need to find x1. So standard uh, in the theoretical practices, x1 is x bar is equal to 2a plus b upon a plus b into l by 3. And this is a bit tedious to re remember this formula. So the shortcut over here is I'm gonna show you. So let's get started over here. First of all, I'll just extrude, draw this over bit in a draw this over here in a better fashion. And then 70.61, 55.48, and I know the span over here is 0.9. So it's given over here 0.9, and this is 0.3. Okay. What I'll be doing is I'll be using the regression mode of the calculator, Casio FX 991 ES. So once you turn on the calculator, it's uh, by default in the compute mode. So what I'll be doing is just get into press mode and then get stack 3 and then select the first option that is 1 dash var. It presents you a table of X and frequency. So over here. This is, uh, suppose I divide this figure into x and frequency. So I want to find the centroid or the point of application. I know, uh, and I know it would be somewhere around over here because uh, it's a common logic that the magnitude over here is greater than this. So centroid is equal to summation of x a upon summation of a, where a is the frequency. Hmm? So let's get started over here now. So x, uh, I want to find the centroid from the left. So I'll be taking this 0 and this 0 0.9 and this is my frequency. So 0, 0.9 and frequency over here is 70.61, 55.48. So I'll be feeding this data into the calculator. 0, 0 0.9, 70.61, 55 Once I've fed this data, I'll just be pressing the AC button. Now, press the shift 1, get into the stat mode, then select the var, and then select x bar by pressing 2, sorry. You get it as 0.396. So, which is 0.396 from this side. Suppose this is 0.9, so over here it's 0.396. Five zero, and it's approximately same. You can see it in this book. It's given as x bar is x bar from this side is equal to 0.47, and my answer comes about 2.503. So in this way, you can just skip the tedious task of remembering these formulas and use a calculator for your productivity.